Sasaki, yes, thank you for this interview. Um, I understand two years ago, before you won the Netbin uh, Kapana Challenge, you were homeless. Just tell us your story a bit. Yeah, I was staying at the north. Oh. When I completed my grade 12. When was this? this? It was 20, 2010, mm -hmm. when I completed my grade 12. Then I didn't manage to make up uh, the point. And then I tried to... My parents didn't have the money to go so that I can go to Namco. I decided to come to Induk so that I can able maybe to, to see if I will get any job. When did you come to Induk? Uh, 2011. Mm. Then I was staying with my uncle to Induk North. And then from there I decided that because there everything is there, I don't have anything. You sleep on someone's bed, someone's blanket. This I let me go to find if I'll get a place. Then I and then I come to my auntie at uh, Havana. Mm -hmm. From there I start struggling, struggling, making a shop. From the shop I if I we find the place here, it was empty place. The man I say I went to buy my my zinc, my pole. As you see, this one I ate when I oh, gave the trailer. Okay. I ate the bit because it was just ending here. And oh. then we grabbed the land. As you know how people grab the land in Namibia like that. Yeah. In Indo, yeah. Yeah. I come with my pole and my zinc. Little bit, I, I put the thing, then I leave it. Then I went back to my auntie. From there, I start working little by little. I save the, until I come and complete everything. Then I buy my bed through those monies I used to. From the chef, where? From the chef, when uh, those men called me to help them, catering them. Like to fry, to cook at least small, the washing dishes. So I was just multiple work. Anything, if you say you cut for me like this, you give me the sample, I'll do it. And until now, I learned everything. Now I know everything. Mm, that's mm. good. Well, uh, before we went to the Katana competition, I was just staying at Gavana, where I am now. Mm. And then I feel the, the form for Katana Kuku. I found it from Nepal. When I was used to deposit my money at the where I used to get a little from somewhere. And then I applied the, the form, then they called me to go for the competition. And then it was 2019 is where I get the trailer. It was not easy to receive a trailer from different people, different agents. But I tried my best to perform everything nice and then until I win the trailer. The judge was happy with what I was doing and then I'm also proud for myself now as the, the stage where I am now. Uh, we were doing good. The problem only it was COVID-19 coming. Mm -hmm. The business was going well but due to the COVID-19 the customer I'm going down, but we are happy. We are enjoying it to receive our customer, and especially when we get like a small catering functions, we get a bit bigger than the way we are standing in customer one by one. So, what year did you move to Havana uh, to your auntie? Uh, the year I moved it was 2012. Oh, uh -huh. and then uh, I forget the story. Ah, sorry. 2012, I went to one of my uncle, get a job from Chinese. They were doing like uh, finding the copper. We went to the south, moving like um, making sandals. River type? Uh, ah, no, the Karas region, the south, the south of Karas. Okay. Uh, from uh, Emirangesen, in those farmers there. Yeah. We were moving there, taking the sample of the soil and the, the stones through Chinese company. And then the contract, it was for three months, then it ended up, then we come back to Indo. 
And then in that big money I get from those Chinese is where I was pushing for the life until I came to develop, like to go to the chefs and do those things. Oh, oh, so what, what year was that? That year it was 2017. Oh, yeah. so when you got money from? From those things where yeah. I buy my everything, my bed, my blanket, the stove, the pot, then now I'm fine. So before that 2017, you were staying still with your aunt? I was staying with my aunt. Oh, yeah. here and there. From husband. there, they decided that I'm also grown up, let me able to do some, mm. so I don't get any land like this. But we are still waiting to have a big, like having a, whole, a home with mm. the family, with anyone who needs the help. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, that's, that's good. So, um, NetBank, you won in 2018. 2019. Oh, 2019. Oh, so it's not two years ago, it's uh, last year. Uh, it's two years ago, 2018. 2018. Like, yeah, 2018. <laughs> oh, and that experience has been able to, it's now your stable income. Mm. So it's your business, right? Yes, yeah, um, my business. Oh. So before NetBank, you didn't have a stable income, and now you have, now you can actually. But the trailers, didn't they sponsor trailers? Who? NetBank, or you had to buy your own? NetBank, yeah, they, uh, they sponsor me when I get, they receive the trailer. Oh. They used to give me a, um, a, a voucher for 10,000 to go start a business. Mm -hmm. And then Mitko, Mitko gave me a voucher for 5,000 to go buy the meat. And then they called me to be at their premises so that they can able to promote and then the business how they meet from mm -hmm. people test before they go by the meeting meet go. Then I get a lot of uh, encouragement from my customers. They say nice meat. And then they taste the quality of the meat is nice. Because normally they used to ask me where you buy the meat usually say the meat more. Because mm. most of my customers are yes, those are those customers who like halal meat. Oh, so you have to also get halal. Yeah, I used to get halal. And that's why I'm not buying to the small butchery. Because most of them they like halal. If they eat halal, they are not eating those meat. Mm. And then I don't want to lie to my customers. Yeah. Because yeah, I know already. Halal meat is uh, the difference between uh, other meat, 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 yeah. meat, every halal, meat, every halal. And then only small butcher living around, not every butcher is. Yeah. yeah, but tell us a little bit about your struggle. I mean, from you, you, you were unemployed and you were just selling products from Chinatown, I'm guessing. Mm. Is it that? Tell us about the before the competition, your life. You before the competition, the life was tough, of course. I was just selling those small things, like the tax shop. Like now I give up the tax shop to someone of my brother to deal with the tax shop, because now I have the trailer. In the tax shop is where we used to get little what we were getting, and then to help the family, the kids, and all anyone who needs help from me, I can help him from the tax shop. Oh, that was in 2017? Oh, so, and how else were you surviving? <laughs> mm. Was it just the truck shop buying products from Chinatown and then selling them at the truck shop? Or? Yeah, and then I was also used to be called by people. To, I was also helping uh, one woman catering to parliament. I used to cater the parliament. Then she called me, she needed my help. Then I, I also get money from her. And then also, and then the end of from the catering, people they used to come in different hotels to go for cash work, then to go back home. That's where I was having the most money. Oh, okay. How many children do you have? I have two kids, a woman, a lady, a daughter, and a son. Where are they? Um, one is in Winduk to the auntie. And then the last one, it was, he is at the north to my mom. 
then we're all doing good. We're happy. Oh, it's just the COVID that has affected. Yeah, uh, COVID affected the business, but since the president announced that we can make take take away, mm. at least we get something on instead of staying home. Mm -hmm. wow.